Hi guys, Kevin from Kevin Muldoon here and as you can see here, I've got my Sony RX100 Mark III. I really do have strange geek love for this camera. I'm really loving how flexible it is with the flip up screen and being able to charge using the USB port at the side and things like that. It's a great little camera and one of the things I love about it is just how small and portable it is. I can use it with a vlogging um, selfie stick, I can use it with tripods. One of the things I've been doing with it is trying to vlog from my car. I do a lot of driving, you know, when I'm driving about to friends' houses, to training and all that kind of thing. I'm in the car sometimes for 20, 30 minutes and it feels to me, not so much as wasted time, but it presents an opportunity for me to vlog to viewers on my channel. And that's what I want to do. I want to use this camera to vlog to my viewers. I've did a few videos already through my Rise Forums YouTube channel. So what I did is I got my camera bag and I kind of squished it into the side and then I put the camera there. It was a terrible solution to be honest. You know, the, the footage was come out, everything was a little bit slanty and it wasn't ideal. So what I did was I went on to Amazon and I got this. This is one of many little car mounts um, for cameras available. I got it from Amazon, it was about £4.79 I believe. This is one of the smallest ones that are available and one of the reasons I got a small one is because I've got quite a narrow dashboard. So because the, the dashboard is narrow, you know, I, w I was going to have to find it difficult to put the camera on like this without it touching the windscreen. Now this particular little mount tripod, car mount tripod, I think the, the official title was it, and um, you can see here, it's got, it can move around and it can go down like that. I mean, it's a cheap little product, but um, I've tried out my car and you can see here, it flips up and when you stick it down, it can stick and you can see here, this is solid. It's not gonna move. The problem is, I can't even get it off now. The problem is with this is it, it, it's not as solid, it's not as sticky when it's actually on my dashboard. I'm not sure it's just the material that's used in my dashboard, but you know, it just wasn't sticking properly. But that wasn't the big issue. The bigger issue was that when I tried to put this in my car, you know, this, this here was touching the windscreen. So there was two kind of problems. This wasn't sticking properly in my dashboard and it was a little bit too high. And this is, as I said, this is one of the smaller options you can buy. But thankfully, I found a better solution. My dad used to have a little mat that he used, a little weighted mat, and he used it for his uh, GPS module, his little GPS device. And thankfully, he bought a new car yesterday. So the new car has built in sat nav, so he doesn't need it. So I've got this. And you can see here, it's made from a company, if I can get it in, that's it, go right in focus, Navmat. And if you go to navmat.co.uk, there's a few different options, but the one that, I'm look, uh, that I've got is the Navmat DIP. Now it's designed for sat-navs, it's designed for, uh, for satellite navigation devices from Garmin and all that kind of thing, but I've found it's actually perfect for putting my camera on. For one, I can lodge it in like this. So I can film, I can put it in the screen like that. Now again, as I said, the dashboard, this doesn't stick great to my dashboard like that. But what I did find was, you know, this has got a, a plate at the bottom and you can stick this down and then you can stick this on top. If I can see it, there we go. And then, there you go. So now I have it sitting on the mat. So I've got one of two options. I can put it on the little tripod or I can put it on the nav mat. Now this nav mat retails, this nav mat, sorry. This nav mat retails for £18.99. If I can get this thing off, it's so sticky. £18.99 in the UK. I'm sure you can get it in other countries as well this kind of thing so 
If you search for mount tripods and things like that on Amazon or any, any other online shop, you're going to get things like this. Quite a lot of them are bigger and most of the results actually are for like GoPros and Sony action cameras. What I would suggest to you is if you're going to be recording on YouTube, I would maybe lean towards buying something like this. At least either use it as a base or use it simply to put your camera in like that. You know, anything bigger than this, you know, I've got a bigger camera than this. It might not work, but for the Sony RX100, it fits absolutely perfectly. And what it means is I don't have to worry about anything slipping about because it's, it, you know, it's quite a heavy weight. This is quite heavy. And if it is, you know, if this does move around a little bit, you know, you've always got this suction cup. The only thing I would say is if I'm going to use both of these together because of the, the BMW 3 that I've got, the dashboard's quite small. It's not very long. And I've found that I can't get it right into the side. So I really need to bring it up much closer to the driver's seat. And because of that, I mean, I don't I don't like the footage recorded from there. It's super, super close. You know, I, I prefer the camera to be a little bit further back. And that's why I'm leaning towards just using it like this instead of using both. I'm going to head to training just now. I'm, again, I'm running late as I always do. So what I'm going to do is set this out for you and just quickly show you what it's like and um, so i'm going to be filming using this camera and i'll show you what it's like and where i'm going to be pos positioning it in the car so let's get to it so i'm in my car just now and i'm going to show you what i've been trying to do to get this camera lodged in the corner and show you the problems that i've had so I'll just quickly show you what i was doing originally i had this old camera bag my dad gave me years ago so what I was doing was lodging this in right to the corner and then I was just kind of tucking the camera in there you know but the problem was it was once or twice when I was driving where this just kind of slid away the camera moved that way or you know it nearly fell down so that wasn't a great solution so purchased this little thing and you like that you can see the kind of the problem here you know like there's no space here between the between the top of the tripod and the windscreen. So really, I could kind of get it at that angle, but which isn't good from a stickiness point of view, and it's not good from the angle. You know, the camera could easily fall off. But that doesn't matter anyway because you know this doesn't seem to stick on the dashboard. It just doesn't stick at all. So the, the nav mat is the best option. You can set it here, you know, it's not raised up high, it's not like this. So if you can imagine, you know, I'm obviously filming using my Sony RX100 just now, but if I sit on top of here, the bottom of the camera is here, but the bottom of the camera is way down here when you've got it on the nav mat. So the Sony RX100 works out perfectly with this. Any kind of smaller point and shoot cameras will be perfect for this. Now, this, you know, if I had to stick on top of that, which is an option, and perhaps, you know, I'm a little bit more secure as far as the camera not moving around. But what I need to do is bring it up here. And that means it's filming me, you know, the right kind of like this distance instead of like a way over there. So I wanted something, you know, I could put in the corner. And it also means that, you know, you can kind of see where I'm driving and things like that as well. So that is the, the nav mat, I think is the better option. The other option would be to try and put something up here. I saw a couple of things like, but they didn't look very secure and they didn't look very good. And um, I think this is going to work out be the best option, the nav map. Ideally, it would have been great to have something that's stuck on here and then, you know, come out with the, the tripod port and then I could have stuck it there and held the camera. But I really couldn't find anything that, that was suitable. So I went from that, which was a terrible solution, this just does not stick to my dashboard, but it sticks perfectly to the nav map. So if I had, if I ever get another car and I've got a longer dashboard, what I'll probably do is use the nav map and use this tripod on top. But because, you know, you can see here, like my dad's just got a new Ford Focus and his dashboard is twice as long, but this one, it really is a lot, it really is a lot shorter. So what I'm gonna do is use the nav mat like that and record footage from there. So I'll just give you an example of what it's like. So 
that's it lodged in. Shouldn't move from there. And I don't need that. I think it is one of the better options. So if you're a the, the website that I saw, it's called nav mat That's on uh, on the actual nav mat. And if you're looking for a mount for doing vlogging from your car, and again, as I keep saying this, I think vlogging from your car is a great idea because, you know, when you're driving around, you can just talk to your, your viewers or your listeners, and sometimes you can fit in a, a few extra videos at times when you be too busy. So I would look towards one of these mats that you get for navigation devices like Garmin and use that, see if that fits your, your little point and shoot camera. Again, it's not an ideal solution for something like a DSLR, but what you can do, if you do get a DSLR, is use it as a base to hold your tripod mount, you know, with your suction cup. So, I would recommend that. So if you're, if you're looking to vlog and, you're, and you've been looking for one of those, um, for something to help you vlog while, while you're in the car, then I do recommend something like that, a satellite navigation uh, mat to hold your device, but you can use it to hold your point shoot camera, and you can use it in conjunction with something like this. But do take into account what your dashboard is like because you might find it difficult to use one of these because the camera's pushed up and it hits the screen. If you get any questions about any of this, please do ask, leave a comment below, and you know the drill, if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe, like, share, and all that. Thanks for watching guys, till next time, take care.